Everybody knows that you can use ChatGPT to generate automatic YouTube scripts, but that doesn't mean they're always good. I prompted ChatGPT to write me a YouTube script about visiting Paris. It's got an intro, an outro, and it even writes it in the correct style, but the content itself is pretty boring. It's not that there's any bad information in here, it's just that the whole thing is quite generic and predictable. And that's because the prompt itself was way too broad. So to get some better results, we need to try something much more specific, like write me a fast paced YouTube script with an upbeat tone about the five best things to do in Paris on a first time visit. And as you can see, this has given me a much better script. It's not that the information is that much different, but it just reads like a much more engaging video. But still, we can do even better. Let's now get ChatGPT to improve certain parts of this script. And what I'm going to do is copy the intro and add a new prompt. Make this YouTube intro more intriguing for audience retention. And I'll paste the intro intro text into there and there you go it's already given me another option but again let's keep going I can copy that answer and get it to write me a faster version which I think will work even better for engagement you can also get ChatGPT to elaborate on certain facts within the script by asking something like what is something that most people don't know about the Eiffel Tower and I can now add this answer into the section of my script where I talk about the Eiffel Tower and it just gives it a more interesting angle and the final result that I have here is much better than that first answer I got from ChatGPT. But there is an even better way to write YouTube scripts using this AI. But first, let's get into one of the worst ways that people use ChatGPT for YouTube. On the surface, ChatGPT looks like a really easy way to generate keywords and descriptions for your videos. You just type in something like, write me some SEO keywords for a video about visiting Paris for the first time. And at first glance, this looks really good. With this list, I can then follow up by asking ChatGPT to write me an optimized YouTube description using these words and phrases. And this result also seems legit. But if you actually search for some of these keywords in a tool like TubeBuddy, you can see that they don't rank very high. So what's a better way of doing this? I recommend using an SEO tool like TubeBuddy or vidIQ to write a list of high volume keywords manually. And once you have a list of keywords that you know are gonna rank, you can then get ChatGPT to write me an optimized YouTube description using these keywords. And I'm gonna paste those into the prompt. And I guarantee that this description that it's now writing is going to perform much better because you know that those keywords are genuinely strong choices. In general, ChatGPT can be a really powerful tool for generating content ideas, but it does have some really big drawbacks in this area as well. Asking something like, what is a great YouTube video idea is just a bad prompt that's gonna give you very vague results. ChatGPT also doesn't have knowledge of recent events and trends, so you do need to be aware that some information that it gives is out of date or just wrong. So if you want to generate some content ideas for your videos, I recommend asking for some key facts about a subject. What are some lesser known facts about visiting Paris for the first time? And you can now use these answers to kickstart your thought process or just get ChatGPT to generate a script for you. And speaking of scripts, in my opinion, ChatGPT works really well when you've already written a draft of a script yourself. For example, I can now get ChatGPT to proofread and improve my work. Which words are most often repeated in this script? And I can now use this information to make myself sound less repetitive on camera. You can also get the AI to give you some extra ideas for your script by asking, have I missed any vital information from this script? Paste it in again. And this has actually given me some really good ideas that I didn't even think of. You could even ask ChatGPT to simplify your entire script into a 20 second video, which is ideal for YouTube shorts. And another really cool one that I actually use quite often is when I get ChatGPT to repurpose this script into separate ideas for YouTube shorts. But one of ChatGPT's biggest strengths is generating YouTube titles. You can even tell it to use specific keywords from your research. What is a great YouTube video title for a video about visiting Paris for the first time? must include Eiffel Tower and other keywords for SEO. And as you can see, the results are pretty good. But you can also take one of these answers and get it to generate some clickbait versions. And you've got some more options. And by using this method, you can use ChatGPT to give some life to your older videos. Take an older title from your YouTube channel that isn't performing very well, and just ask ChatGPT to improve it for higher click-through rate and see if it makes any difference to the video performance. And what about thumbnails? You could take your final title 
idea and use it to ask what are some good YouTube thumbnail ideas for a video called, and I'll paste the title into there. And as you can see, this is just another way that ChatGPT can become a part of your brainstorming process. It can't solely create your content from scratch, but with the right prompts, it can save you a hell of a lot of time. Now, if you want to see what happens when you use an AI image generator to make a YouTube thumbnail, you should definitely check out this video next, and I'll see you guys in the next one.